How's it going here, everybody? It is officially T-minus 6 hours and 45 minutes until the midnight release of The Dark Knight Rises, the newest Batman movie. And all I can say is I am incredibly excited. I've already got my Joker t-shirt on here just in preparation for that. I'm going straight with my brother tonight to go see the midnight release. I'm just... Ah, it's gonna be so good! Yeah! <laughs> But in honor of that, I've got a special match for you all today. I'm actually using a uh, Batman Christopher Nolan movie theme team right here. And it's a UU match against this guy I found in the PO server on Pokemon Line and by the name of W.S. Serlo. And I don't believe he has a YouTube account. He never told me if he did or not. But I'm just going to get the team preview up and going right about now. And pretty much the whole backstory behind this team is obviously Batman's going to be crow bad here. But um, the, the, here's a little history, by the way, by, for this team. You see that Blastoise right there? Yeah, that's supposed to be a Roserade, but because every other server, besides Smogan, thinks that Roserade is too OP for you, you, that they have actually banned it, so... I, I don't understand it at all, really. It's absolute nonsense that they ban Roserade from literally every server, literally. I tried like a, like 20 different servers just to see if I could get Roserade working on one of them. It was like, bad from you, you, bad from you, you, bad from you, you. It's just like... It's, it's not that big of a threat. Okay, actually, it is a huge threat. What am I talking about? But, like, it it's it can be handled. It can be handled. And I just don't understand why people think it's so OP. <sighs> I need to find a smoking server, but I think I found one. Hopefully. Some guy PM me in yesterday's video about it. But in any case, um, yeah, that Rosa, it's supposed to be a Roserade right here. And it would have been really useful taking down this guy's team here because he has a massive Roserade weakness. But uh, looking at it, the threats, mostly just taking down that Shaman in the slow broke core is going to be a huge pain. And if that Sweet Command just gets set up, it can easily get dominated. Um, the Mian Xiao kind of scares me to an extent, because if I do lo happen to lose um, Crobat right there, it could potentially break through a lot of my guys. I mean, I do have Chandler who can kind of buffer the high jump kicks and the U-turns, but if it does manage to land a Stone Edge right there, I might be kind of screwed over. And Heracross, I do have Crobat in dealing with that along with uh, Chandler, so that's not too bad. Just got to... Make sure I have those two to save. And then Azelf kind of scares me because I I don't know what kind of set it could be running. It could either be running Choice Band or uh, Nasty Plot. But I kind of have Weavile here as a check. And I know Registeel can at least buffer any hit it has bar a uh, Fire Punch or Thunder or Fire Blast. So I'm feeling all right about that. But in all honesty, it's going to be an interesting match nonetheless. I don't know what's going to happen. But I might as well just get right into it. So, without further ado, he's going to lead off with his Mian Xiao now as I lead off with my Crobat here. I'm going to switch out into uh, Chandelure here, predicting the fake out, but I could have easily just kept Crobat in there because I do have better focus on that, so I'm not really sure what I was thinking there. But in any case, now he's going to go for the Stone Edge and miss, but thankfully, though, that pretty much allows me to easily set up my um, sub right now as he switches into Suicune now. I'm going to go for the Fire Blast here. Uh, I'm not really sure why, maybe predict- I don't really understand why I went for the Fire Blast here. I probably could have gone for the Shadow Ball, but yeah, because as you can clearly tell, it did about like pretty much half half of his health right there. I know next year I can take it out with another Shadow Ball, so I'm not really sure what I was thinking with this Chandler at this point. But hey, I'm not going to complain, I got a dead Suicune right there, and that eliminates one massive threat from this team. Now in comes his ass up, and I'm fearing a potential Shadow Ball, because I know these things Sometimes I have a tendency of packing it, so I'm just going to switch into Registeel now, kind of thinking about what he might go for. I'm going to go for, I believe, set up my rocks this turn as he switches out now, brings in his Mian Xiao. And I'm thinking, okay, I feel like he probably won't want to go for a uh, high jump kick here, but if he does, I have Crobat, so I'm just going to switch into him right here. Um, and this turn, I believe, I'm going to go for a, either Super... Yeah, no, no, I'm going to go for the Super Fang here. No, I'm going to go for the Roost, get all my HP back. I kind of forget this match a little bit, so you guys are going to have to work with me a little bit here. But I, I don't want to be taking a Psychic with this um, from the Slowbro here, so I'm just going to switch into my Blastoise right here as he goes for the Thunder Wave. And if you guys are wondering why I named this Blastoise Joker, it's because I'm using the shiny colors on it. When Like, if you're actually playing me with this team on PO, I actually have shiny colors, which is like purple and green, which is kind of the Joker's colors, but I don't know. I don't, it, it's... That Blastoise is supposed to be replaced by Roserade, but I've already explained my frustration with that, so I'm not going to get any more detail. In any case, now Shaman comes in here. I'm fearing the Seed Flare, so I'm just going to switch into Registeel now. I do land the Toxic right there, but I know eventually he'll just ha eventually just want to switch out now because he's got that natural cure, so it's not going to be too big of an issue for him, but it's going to be a huge issue for me because pretty much the majority of this game here revolves around me just trying to break this slow bro Shaman Core has got right here, and it would have been really nice if I happened to have Roserade on my team because I literally could have just Giga Drain the Slowbro, Sludge Bomb the freaking... 
I, I should stop complaining, but like literally, literally, this, had I had Rosa right here, I would have had so much less trouble trying to break this Corey's got going on right here, but because I don't, I'm gonna have a heck of a time trying to take it down. So I'm thinking this time around, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go for the Super Fang this turn as I bring in Crobat, well, no, no, I'm gonna go for the Taunt first. That way I can prevent him from either uh, resting off or, or slacking off or uh, thunder waving here. So I'm going to switch out now, bring in my Blastoise, because pretty much what I'm trying to do with the Blastoise here is just to try and slap a Toxic on this thing, because I know as soon as I slap that Toxic on there, it's going to be a lot easier to take down, because I know I'm going to have that rigid dual damage just constantly racking up and up and up. But I'm going to go for the Toxic here. He obviously sees that coming. He just brings in his Shaman once more to absorb that. So I'm just like, oh, great. This is going to be... This is like trying to take down a Scar and Bliss back in early DP. Oh, God. It kind of is, really. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But in any case, now, I'm going to bring in Registeel here. Try and take a Seed Flare or whatever move he decides to go for here. I'm going to go for the Estos here. Just try and rack up some form of damage right here. But because he's got that Leech Seed going, I know for a fact that it'll eventually just keep getting health more and more back. So what I'm going to do this turn here is switch into my Chandelier right here as he goes for the rest right here. So I'm thinking, okay, if I manage to get up a sub up this turn... I think I might actually have an easier shot of taking down the remainder of his team. So I'm going to sub up here as he switches into Slowbro. Then I'm going to get a Pain Split off. That way he can get some decent amount of damage right here. What I should have done instead was just gone for the Shadow Ball. Because that would have probably been able to um, take down the Slowbro from that. Actually, I don't know if a Shadow Ball could have killed it. No, it definitely would have killed from this range. Because as you can see here, he's going to switch into his Mian Chow. It's just going to absolutely get one shot by a Chandler's Shadow Ball right there. Which I was actually surprised it did that much damage in all honesty. I was... Thought that would do a lot more. But in any case, Heracross comes in right here. And I'm thinking he might want to go for the Stone Age. So I'm like, oh, doop, doop, doop. Heracross doesn't have pursuit. So I just switch out. And he goes for the Spirit Pursuit. And just absolutely obliterates my Chandler. Which really stinks. Because I really would have liked to have it in taking down this defensive core he's got right here with the slow bro and the Shaman. But whatever. So what I'm going to do this turn, I'm going to Super Fang now on the predicted switch into slow bro here. And then I'm going to uh, switch out and bring in my Weavile right here on probably the expected slack off because I'm feeling that's probably what I want to do. I should have just gone for the taunt right there instead. I feel like that would have been a lot smarter. But in any case, I'm going to bring in Weavile right here. I feel like I can take at least one flamethrower if he does manage to pack it with the slow bro. And it does over, it does like 50%, but after Lefties, I know for a fact I won't be able to kill it next turn. I really need Weavile in order to take down the Azelf. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to switch out, switch out right now, bring Blastoise back in. And I know for a fact that I'll probably want to end up switching back into Shaman. So I'm thinking I will just go for Toxic right there when I could have easily gone for the switch. Ah, I don't know. I don't know why. I... And all honesty, looking back, I probably could have done a lot better with handling the shame. And I mean, like, the switches were so obvious <laughs> into this thing. I probably should have seen it coming like a mile away every time I brought in Blastoise, but... Whatever, I played kind of stupidly this match, especially near the end. But in any case, I'm just going to go for the Thunder Wave now on the Shaman. I don't know why, because he has the Natural Cure. And then I go for the Iron Head here, when I could have easily gone for the S-Toss, because literally Iron Head... Why did I go for the Iron Head? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, do I just don't know. I'm... I'm not thinking at all this match, really, at this point. So what I'm going to do here is, I think I just really wanted to take down the Slowbro and the Shaman Court. It's, it's just really starting to irk me at this point. But in any case, now Slowbro comes back in, Blastoise is in. I try and go for another Toxic right here. I'm really adamant about trying to throw that Toxic on that Shaman, or Slowbro, but whatever, whatever. In any case, now Crobat comes back in. He's going to go for the Leech Seed now, because he knows that nothing on my team can take it, because I don't have a Rosa Raid, which I really would, again, like to have on this team. Ugh, whatever. I need to stop complaining during this ma about this match, but ugh, whatever, whatever. But in any case, now I'm gonna switch in. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this at this point. I think I go for the yeah, I go for the roost this turn with Crobat now as he switches back in a slow bro. At this point, I'm thinking to myself, okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm essentially just gonna try and taunt this thing first. That way he doesn't get the whole T-wave nonsense, the slacking off nonsense going on right here with the slow bro. And then what I'm gonna start doing from this point on is just trying to break this thing down as much as possible. I'm thinking, oh, you know what? I should just completely sack Crobat in order to take down this slow bro, right? That's a good idea, huh, guys? Yeah. I mean, I do end up ultimately taking it down after he gets the skull, the F. Is it Scald Burn or Flamethrower or Burn? Uh, whatever. Either way, you got the burn right there. But as you can tell, though, I am going to get it down to a range where I know for a fact I can come in with Weavile and just kill it off with a Night Slash right here. And I, I'm, I'm a little skeptical about going for the Pursuit because I feel like you might want to switch out, but I'm like, no, you know what? Like, whatever. I mean, I just want to kill this thing. If he does manage to bring in something else to take the Night Slash, good for me. If he doesn't, whatever, it's fine. But now he brings in Heracross. And here, I'm, I just absolutely am kicking myself because... I essentially just sacked my um, 
my one check I had to hair across in order just to kill off a stupid slow bro. Which, in all honesty, was absolute moronic tendencies, in all honesty. I don't know what I was doing, but in any case, I'm bringing uh, the champ now. I go for the Stone Edge on that, switch an Az Elf. I see that he's gonna. He goes for the Zen Headbutt this turn, and I feel like, okay. If he did that much with a one cent hit, but I feel like he can take another one and kill it off the skull. But he ends up getting a critical hit right here, which really stinks. So essentially, all I have left is really just, um, Weavile on a champ. I mean, I know I can kill this thing off of the Pursuit here with the Weavile, so that's nice as he sw is attempted to switch out and bring in his Heracross. But in any case, now, as Heracross comes back in, I know for a fact that literally if I want to be able to even try and kill this thing off, I have to sack Weavile, which really stinks as really like to have him for later on, but I know for a fact I can just hit this thing with an ice shard, get him down to a point where I know I can revenge kill with Machamp, but I know that after close combat here, uh, Shaman Seedflare will instantly just finish me off right there and then, and it's essentially just going to be his game at this point, so I go for that Stone Edge, kill him off, I don't have to worry about missing because of no guard. and this turn he's just going to bring in his um, Shaman here, and I'm hoping to God that he misses his Seed Flare, but he doesn't because no guard works from both sides and not just my side. And uh, he, ultimately, uh, he ultimately ends up winning the match. Good game, WS Cirlo. Um, it was a fun match, fun match. I really wish I had Roserade again, but uh, whatever, whatever. I'm literally going to try and track down this hidden smoking server that I've been hearing so much about, because apparently Joey and Tony Flygon made a uh, secret server that I really want to be interested in, because I really want to start playing Smoke and Tears on PO again, because I literally, I just absolutely hate PO Tears. Grrr. But, uh, yeah, um... I was really complaining a lot this video, huh? Eh, whatever. But in any case, guys, if you enjoyed my content and you want to see more of my material, you can always rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah, this is essentially Infant Trials. You're saying peace out, yo, and have a good one.